Fire Captain Chris Truman has been laid to rest tonight after a weekend filled with tributes in his honor. Roschmidt is here to show us how his friends and family are hoping he's remembered. Today, they spoke of his infectious laugh, his contagious passion for the fire service, and his willingness to do whatever was necessary to help someone in need. It's a day filled with listening. It's amazing um, that, that his life could be honored in this way. Honoring. You know, not only, you know, the sacrifice that brought us all here. And remembering Captain Chris Truman of the Lake Mills Fire Department. He was much more than just, you know, a firefighter. Captain Truman was off duty New Year's Eve when he stopped on the side of the Beltline to help a woman whose car had spun out of control. He was hit by a car and died. No doubt in my mind that he, had he survived this, that he would have done it again without question. That's just who he was. Knowledge of his sacrifice is what's getting Police Chief Mick Selk through this week. I was honored to know him. I was honored to be his friend. Chief Selk spoke about that honor during the services for Captain Truman on Sunday at Lake Mills High School. Uh, Chris's life was filled with joy. Uh, he laughed. Um, he'd be very upset with all we, what we did today because it was far too much as far as he was concerned, I'm sure. The most powerful moment came in the form of echoes throughout the service and the police scanner. Dispatch to Lake Mills Fire Department Captain Chris Truman. Final page is always moving when you hear that name called and knowing that there's going to be no response. Dispatch clear with no response from Lake Mills Fire Department Captain Chris Truman. Chris, the members of the Lake Mills Fire Department and the citizens of the communities that you served bid you farewell and thank you for your 15 years of unselfish service and dedication. While he can't respond verbally, his memory is serving as a reminder of a different kind to those who knew him best. I honor Chris by going to step up my game in life and um, I'm going to be a better EMT myself. I truly believe the best way to honor Captain Truman is by being a good person and helping out those around you. After losing his selfless colleague and friend, Chief Selk is finding comfort in a letter his 11-year-old son Barrett wrote to him and is hoping others listening will find comfort too. Dad, I know that you're in pain and so am I. It's sad, I know, but we can all get through this as a team. We will all remember Chris Truman as a caring, loving, gentle, and helpful hero. Police Chief Selk is asking you to pay it forward and do a good deed for someone else. And he says that is the best way to honor Captain Truman's memory. Right. Definitely a good way to keep his memory alive. Thank you, Rose. As the community says goodbye to Captain Truman, they're also helping.